so in this lecture we are learning about the concept of learning rate okay so in another language this learning rate is called the step size just i am using this word step size in previous lecture okay or uh, many authors many books are written this step size as learning rate okay so what we will see in the previous class what we will see our equations gradient distance equations that is xi equals to xi minus 1 into r or df by dx xi minus 1 okay this r is called the learning rate these are called the learning, uh, learning rate okay and uh, we have seen that in previous lectures we are using this learning rate as constant and uh, these equations many authors these equations called is an update equation why this is an update equations because each iterations we have updating the value of xi okay so many authors these equations is called the update equations for this reason now uh, let's take an example how this choosing the constant of r we have to face a problem so let's take an example first so let's take uh, our functions uh, y is equals to f of x that is equals to x square okay let's this is our function so first draw this draw this thing let's take this is our functions this is our x axis this is our f of x axis or y this is a function let's take after some iteration let's take after some ith iterations we are reaching a value that is called xi is equals to 0 0.5 okay so simply just write down after some iterations let after some iterations i we get our x i value is equals to 0 0.5 so what will now what will be the updated equations x i plus 1 will be what x i plus is x i minus r of del f of del x x i okay suppose let's take let let our r is equals to 1 let's as we, as we take r uh, that is our learning rate as in previous class we have taken that learning rate equals to 1 so here also we are using this r is equals to 1 so now what will be our the value of x i plus 1 let's count it x i plus 1 x i is what x i is 0 0.5 minus 1 into what will be the derivative of this this f of x is what f of x is x square that is with respect to x we get 2x at the point uh, xi that is xi is equals to 0 0.5 here so what will be the equations here 2 into 0 0.5 so what is this 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 so just uh, we are just just after calculations you get this value okay what minus 0 0.5 so here we have seen that uh, 
after if we choosing r is equals to 1 then after i after it is equal after i iterations we are reaching here but our optimal value is what our optimal value is that is x star is here but we are reaching here this side but here we are reaching at is x plus i plus 1 is equals to this side just we are a simple jumped over our optimal value now now let's calculate the what will be the next value now let's calculate it now what will be the i plus 2 value simple i plus 2 will be using the same equations a minus 1 into del f by del x x i plus 1 so what is our i plus 1 value now minus 0 0.5 minus 1 into what is this 2x that is simply similarly now what to be the 2 into x x i plus 1 is what minus 0 0.5 here we are using minus 0 0.5 So, what is minus 0 0.5? That is minus minus a plus plus 1. So, what is this? This value now will be 0.5. Okay. So, just see this situation. Just see the situations. Now, what is now again? First, we are coming from here to here. So first, coming from here to here. Now, when we are just if we calculated the xi plus xi plus again here. Now, here comes similarly, we are coming here from here. Now, if you just see the next xi plus 3, then you are reaching here. Just we are now oscillating here. The between this point, we are oscillating this thing. Okay, just, just see the situation according to this example, just see these situations. So now in these situations we are oscillating between minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. Now oscillating is C between 0 0.5 to point minus 0 0.5. So here if we just we, if we just continue in this iterator basic we never we have never reached our opt at our optimal point so this is the main problem if we choose our opti our learning rate that is our step size equals to constant okay now how to remove these situations how to remove remedy this oscillator now? How to remedies for this oscillating situation? Oscillating situation. How to remedies for this oscillating situation? Oscillate osc oscillation situations. So simple. Here we are using R, but here we are changing the value of R as iterative changes as iteration changes here we are changing the value of r simply here we are change r with h iteration okay simple here we are changing the value of r. so simple one technique to change this value is reduce the value of the r in h in h iteration so why we are reducing this just see this here if you just in i in i iterations we are getting the value 0 0.5 and after i plus equations we are getting the value minus 0 0.5 and if we just reduce this value if you just reduce the r value then we are simply coming here some point here and if you in the next iteration if you uh, just uh, just uh, change the just decrease the r value here something here we are coming similarly here similarly here so after some time we see that if we just uh, add 
as iteration increased if we decrease the value of r we are after some time we are coming to closer and closer to our optimal point okay to our optimal point so one such technique is that reduce the value of r with is iteration So what will be the value? Now r is equals to the function of iterative number. Now r will be the functions, some function, it will be some function of iteration number. Okay. So simply call r is equals to some functions of number iteration number. So i is equals to here iteration. So I am simply using the hash sign and just as yes, you also previously see. I am using the hash sign here to denote the number to denote the count. Okay. Such that we are choosing the functions. Uh, in such a functions of i such that as i as our i increases as our i increases our value of r decreases okay we are choosing this value i in such that as i increases the value of r decreases okay now so the learning rate or the step size so if you when uh, just we have seen that our learning rate or step size is totally dependent totally dependent or our r value so how how much faster our equation converges our iteration converges this is totally depend on our value of r that is called the learning rate so we are in deep learning chapter when we learn the deep learning chapter then uh, we can see there we can see the more effective way to how to choose this value of r value so in deep learning chapter we will see the more effective way more effective way to choose the value of okay okay so uh, since we are using the more effective way to the value to choose the value of r so in the modern artificial intelligence the modern machine learning the so deep learning is so popular because here we are using the more effective way to choose the learning rate I think uh, this lecture is clear so this is a most actually this choosing the r is a most recent and interesting area of machine learning how to choose a proper r appropriate r to converge the to converge the uh, it to converge the iterations of the so learning iterations to converge the training equations more effectively more more uh, more uh, more steadily okay I think uh, it is clear all of you. If you have some doubt, please comment below.